Hi, this is Dr. Scott Hoare, and today is Treatment Tuesday, and this week's patient is Heather Sedges. Heather is a professor at University of Tennessee, Knoxville. In what department? Family and Consumer Sciences. Family and Consumer Sciences. Great. So, Heather, what are you dealing with today? So, um... So I have a very robust history of a lot of surgeries. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a preventative double mastectomy, um, preventative hysterectomy, a lot of sinus surgeries uh, a number of years ago. And over time, I've done a lot of compensation, I feel like, for how I move now that my body is a lot different. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I, what I'm really here for is I wake up a lot of times in the morning with... Um, the sore jaw. Okay. And um, I tend to have pain like down in my hip area, mm -hmm. um, uh, kind of as a, if I'm more active during the day. Uh, it kind of really flares up before I go to bed at night, just in time to keep me awake. Keep your teeth together, touch your chin all the way down to your chest. Any stiffness or discomfort there? Yes. Yeah, that's a little bit limited. Okay, now look back as far as you can. Any stiffness or discomfort? Mm, I can feel a little bit, yeah. Okay, back to neutral. Keep your shoulders still. Turn your head to the right as far as you can. Good, any discomfort? Yeah, I can feel a pull on the... Where? It kind of crackled a little bit in the back. All right, all the way to the left. Any stiffness or discomfort? Not really. All right, turn. Face your whole body this way. With your right hand, reach down the middle of your back as far as you can. Good. All right, other side. Good. Any stiffness or discomfort there? No. Okay. With this arm, reach from down below as high up as you can. Good. Other side. Good. So certainly a little bit of difference. When you did that one with your right arm, you can relax. Any stiffness, discomfort, limitation? It, it felt weird. It just yeah. felt weird. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Turn and face the wall. Bend over, touch your toes. Oh, this is about... That uh, doesn't work, huh? No, that's all I got. Any stiffness or discomfort? Oh, yes. Yeah, where? Uh, in my hips. Okay, come on yeah, up. In my lower back there. Put your hands over your head. Lean back as far as you can. Any stiffness or discomfort? Yes. Where? Left hip. Okay, relax. Face directly away. Feet together all the way. Turn to your right as far as you can until you're looking at the camera. Good. And all the way to the left. A little easier to go to the left than the right. Yes. What did you feel when you went to the right? Can I do it again? Yeah. Uh, restricted. Where? Really restricted. Um, right through heat. Yeah, uh, actually it pulls from here. Okay. Okay, got it. All right, turn and face the wall. Put your feet about shoulder width apart. Put your hands over your head. Squat as low as you can. Keep your heels on the ground. And come on up. What'd you feel there? Ah, tight. Yeah. Yeah, real tight. And I, there's a, a sharp little catch right here. Mm. Okay. All right, good. What I want you to do, put your forearms right here on the table. Or whatever. Now you're good. Feet together all the way. Or, uh, forearms. I'm going to learn my anatomy one of these days. <laughs> Bring your forearms together. Good. I want you to put this right forearm uh, behind your lower back. I want you to twist to the right as far as you can. Hold it right there. What do you feel right there? Uh, tightness Where? in my left shoulder and my neck. Mm-hmm. Okay, down. Left forearm behind your lower back. Twist to the left as far as you can. And that's all it. I've got. And that's and what do you feel right there? Uh, Oh, yeah, um, just like a tightness in my, on this side, but also like, I can feel it over here too. It's just okay. sore. Okay. Um, so we're looking at thoracic spine and rib cage motion there. Okay. Certainly limited. And that's something we'll be able to help with okay, today. Okay, great. So your, uh, your right hip is about seven millimeters higher than your left, a little imbalance there, and you could see yeah, that lateral curvature yeah. from one side of the pelvis to the other. This is 100, this is 93, so it's a little bit rotated. Okay. The right side is actually rotated forward a little bit. So a little bit of misalignment with your, with your pelvis. 
your neck, it's a little bit straight. Not terrible uh, arthritis or degeneration. We would want a little bit more of a curvature like that. Okay. Just because uh, curvature kind of gives you strength. Think of a bridge. An arcing bridge has sure. a little more stability. If it's a long, flat bridge, you got to have all those supports. Okay. You know, 10 million supports, right? So an arc kind of inherently has stability and support in there. And yours is lacking that a little bit. Okay, so we looked through her x-rays and we did a preliminary movement assessment with a little bit of orthopedic testing. One of the big things we found was that her thoracic spine and rib cage actually are not moving very well at all. And that's gonna contribute to that neck kind of shoulder discomfort that she's dealing with, as well as the low back hip stuff that she's dealing with. Um, moving her hips with during the bending over and touching her toes and twisting, that was certainly restricted as well. So we're gonna take a, a whole body approach and see what we can do to improve her movement and cut down on some of that compensation that she was talking about. Uh, looking at her x-rays, we didn't see anything significant that would alter our, our treatment as of now. Uh, so we're gonna jump right in and see what we can do. And we're also gonna take a look at that TMJ. There's so many connections between your, your TMJ and your neck. So we wanna see how all that's working. Let's start with the jaw, because it seems like the jaw is the most pressing yeah. issue. Would that be accurate? Uh, how long has that been going on? Uh, do you know it's it's been about, probably about six weeks that it's kind of really been noticeable. Okay, and did anything in particular happen six weeks ago? No. Well, life stress. But life stress? Life stress. Yeah, everybody. No injury. Okay, good, <laughs> good. good. Um, all right. And um, have you tried anything in particular to, to uh, alleviate this? I have not. I, um, I'm really particular about my pillow because I've learned over the years how that uh, affects my neck, mm -hmm. um, just pain-wise. So I really I don't like changing up my pillow routine too much. Um, so no, I haven't done anything. It's really just when I wake up in the morning, too. It's not. Okay. Um, but it lasts until about lunchtime. All right, so there's a little bit of restriction in your neck, and I'd like to do a neck adjustment. Are you comfortable with that? Yes, thank you. Good, and there it's good. All right, a little bit on this side as well, okay? Sounds good. Very good. Okay, so what I want you to do is open your mouth as wide as you can and close and open again good and close and open again good I'm, I'm gonna do some muscle tests so open wide I'm gonna try to close your mouth don't let me it'll give there okay shift to the left good I'm gonna push that way don't let me good shift to the right I'm pushing that way don't let me okay good keep your mouth closed I'm gonna try to open your jaw don't let me <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Any discomfort there? Um, a little bit. When I was trying to open your mouth yes. and you were keeping yes. it closed. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna grab a couple of muscles around your your temporal mandibular joint, your jaw, okay. and I'm gonna release them. So just open wide and close, and open wide, close, open wide. Good. Close, open wide. Good. Okay. Oh, that feels lovely. And now there's a movement with your jaw. You can uh, protract and retract. Okay, it looks like this. Kind of. Ah, uh, okay. So can you do that for me? Yes, that's it. So retract now. And I'm gonna grab a couple muscles and now protract. Good, and retract and protract. Retract, protract. Retract, protract. Retract, protract, back, good, okay, open wide, good, keep it closed, I'm going to try to open, don't let me, good, how did that feel? That actually felt really nice. A little bit better, right? Yeah, th right up when you were doing that, that felt mm -hmm. like a massage. Good, so we'll tilt you right here, 
Shrug your shoulder up just a little bit. What I'm going to do is a muscle test where I push your head and your shoulders away from each other. Okay. So resist both of those motions. Ready? Go. And again, oh, wow. that's not very good. Wow. I'm going to try it on this side. Ready? Go. And that's stronger, isn't it? Yes. So we're going to go over here. That's indicating that your trapezius and kind of your mid cervical spine mm. are a little bit not doing great. So I'm going to give you a little adjustment over here. We're not going to expect big cracks or pops or anything here. Good. Head over here, shoulder up, hold it right there, pushing away, and a little bit stronger. Would you agree? Very much so. Okay. Make a fist. I'm going to push your elbow down to the table. Now, when I do these muscle tests, you just stand your ground. Okay. So I'm going to push it. You don't have to win. So okay. I'm pushing down to the table. Don't let me do that. Again. Huh. Not good. Okay. So that was the coracobrachialis muscle. And your AC joint is right here. Okay. And how that muscle functions is tied in with the health of this joint. So what I'm going to do is a little adjustment to that part of your shoulder. So you can relax fully. And I give you a little adjustment. Hold it right there, pushing the elbow down. Don't let me. We're stronger, aren't we? That's impressive. There you go. <laughs> Thumb and pinky. Pulling apart. Don't let me. Again. Ah, not good. <laughs> this segment of your neck right here, the nerves uh, that come out of your neck control that, that function of your thumb and your pinky. So let's get that right there. Great. Thumb and pinky pulling apart. A lot better, huh? Much. Okay. Now, we're going to bring your elbow into your torso. I'm going to do a muscle test where I pull it out like that. Okay. Don't let me do that. Again, not very good. Would you okay. agree? Agreed. You're going to put your left palm on your ear. Okay. I'm going to stick my thumb in your armpit. Okay. I'm going to wrap my hand around your shoulder blade. Okay. What we're looking for is you, the ribs underneath your shoulder blade. We want to get those firing again. Okay. I should say we're going to adjust those to get the muscles around your shoulder blade that just tested weak to get them to okay. spring back to life here. Okay, so palm on your ear. Good. Take a deep breath for me. Breathe on out. There we go. All right. That was cool. Bring your Feel elbow good. in there. I'm pulling out that way. Don't let me. Much stronger, huh? Yeah. Cool. All right. Make a fist. I'm going to push down. Don't let me. Rock solid. Hold your arm right here. I'm going to stabilize the one hip. I'm pushing your arm that way. Not very good. <laughs> all right. So that's not all that surprising because that okay. muscle is the pec major. Okay. okay. These muscles for you have been sliced Upended. and diced and all sorts of stuff. So I'm going to give you an adjustment to, um, to your SC joint to see what we can do. So here's your clavicle, here's your sternum, okay? This SC joint, which is tender, is what I'm yeah. adjusting. So this doesn't necessarily feel good. Good. Hold it right there. I'm pushing out that way. Don't let me. Not very good. Pushing that way. Don't let me. Okay, relax. And now where your ribs in the front, right next to the sternum are, that's a little bit tender as well, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to adjust or manipulate the ribs to come off of the sternum a little bit. Good. Hurt for a sec? Dead. You, how are you doing now? Better. Okay, hold it right there, pushing that way, don't let me. Wow! Yeah. You're kidding. Pushing that way. Okay. Wow. Very good. Now what I want to do is get in here 
and feel for soft tissue or muscular tension and irritation. And there's plenty. Yeah. All right. So when we flex your shoulder, there's some good tension in there. So what I'm going to do is release your pec minor here. How does this feel? Is this painful? It's not comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like there's work being done. Yeah. Right now we're on the subscapularis and the lats. Muscles that are going to compensate and create lots of tension and create lots of, uh, I'm going to say bankrupt stability in the area when your shoulder girdle and your rib cage aren't moving the way they really should be. There we go. Great. Okay. Make a fist. I'm going to push your elbow down. Don't let me do that. Ready? Ah! Not good. Okay. So. A little neck adjustment here. Let's see if that did anything. Make a fist, pushing down. There we go. A little bit better. Any discomfort though? Oh, no. A, a smidge. A, a smidge. smidge. Okay. I'll adjust your AC joint over here. That's where your clavicle kind of meets your shoulder. Good. Hold it right there, make a fist, pushing down. No wow. smidges there, right? No smidges there. There we go. Thumb and pinky together, pulling apart. Again. Ah, not good. Thumb pinky, nothing, okay. So when that doesn't work, it indicates there might be something off about your wrist and your hand. So I'm gonna check that out. Do you have any wrist or hand or thumb issues? I, I do, I, so I'm at the computer a lot and um, I get really tight through here and if I'm working a lot, I, um, I can feel like almost numb numb pain does that even yes. make sense yes it does um through my pinky and my uh fourth finger there and i switched uh about a year ago from a regular mouse mm -hmm. to a vertical mouse okay and that took me from twisting those those bones right um it feels like um and it's a lot more comfortable but after a whole day of actually after a whole week of work and it really this tightens up so much okay okay so we did a little bit of wrist stuff. Put your thumb and pinky together, pulling apart. Nothing. So I got to adjust your wrist. So. Some clicking in there. All right. So this is called a speeder board. The reason you have a board like this is so that I can uh, adjust quickly and forcefully into your wrist without it causing much discomfort on your mm. part. When you do a chiropractic adjustment, it's the speed of the stimulation of the nerves in the area that inhibit or kind of press a reset button. And that's why it works. Thumb pinky, pulling apart. Beautiful. Ah, that's cool. Elbow in here. Pulling out that way, don't let me. Ah! Not so good. Okay, put your right palm on your ear. Okay. Relax that elbow. Take a deep breath. Breathe out. Good. Okay. Was that painful? Mm, a little. A little bit. Elbow in there, pulling out that way, don't let me. Ready? Again. Not very good. Okay. 
So let's do that one more time. I go a little bit higher. Okay, let's see if that did anything. Elbow in there, going that way. Ready? That's a little bit better, isn't it? It is. Good. Make a fist for me. Pushing down, don't let me. Beautiful. Pushing out that way, don't let me. Not so good. Hold it right there, let's see if that got it. Pushing out. Much better. That way. Very good. Okay. We'll get into the soft tissues. And again, we're on your pec minor here. And there's plenty of tension. Which I'm not surprised about, given what you've been through. Having said that, it's not nearly as stiff and tight as the other side, is it? No, it's not at all. Yeah. It feels significantly different. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Certainly some stiffness on this side. You think I'm Breath, breathe out. Good. Deep breath, breathe out. Good. Last one, deep breath, breathe. Muscle test, I'm going to push down. Don't let me do that. Again. Ah, not good. Pushing down, don't let me. Come on, you. <laughs> I got nothing. Not so good. All right, let's test some other stuff. Raise your knee up. Hold it up right there. I'm going to push your knee into the table. Don't let me do that. Pretty strong. This knee up. Hold it up. Not pretty strong, right? All right, so your glute tested weak. And your sacrum right here in the middle of your pelvis is what we're going to adjust. Take a deep breath. Breathe out. Good. Raise your knee up. Pull it up right there. Pushing down. Stronger, yes? Much stronger. Good. Okay. Just in there and twist back as far as you That can. first exercise we had you do, it's called can openers. Okay. All right, and the purpose of that is expanding your rib cage and your thoracic spine while staying neutral and engaged with your spine. What was that like for you? At first it was really, really difficult, um, but I was amazed that the, the more I kept doing it, the further I kept going and Quite honestly, it felt good. It started feeling like a nice stretch. Yeah, right. Good. I completely recommend you do that on a regular basis. I was going to ask, should I be doing that regularly? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Really, all of us should. Okay. It's hard. Keep the knee up. Squash. Come back towards me. Keep it up. Good. And lift. That. That's the I movement. I feel that in that core. Okay. Good. Okay. Go for it. Good. Good. Now, this is a three pound weight. Same, same exact thing. Yeah. Good. Any pain now, or discomfort? The second exercise, I call it the, uh, the arm bar body roll. What happens is with the weight in your hand, you have to engage and stabilize in a different way than you have to do it during, say, like stretching. Right. 
So you engage and stabilize, and then you're forced to move your whole rib cage and torso. What was that like for you? Uh, on the right side, it was, I, I felt like I could do it, but as soon as we switched to the left side, I, um, I, had, to, I had to think. I had to actively tell my body what to do. Yeah. And um, it felt, it was just more difficult. It mm -hmm. felt almost like I was going through sludge at first. Yeah. Um, but I felt the change after a couple of uh, reps going through that. Right. Yeah. Stability. Good. And control in a proper manner. Keep that head relaxed and laying against your hand. Yeah. From behind your lower back, twist to the left as far as you can, look all the way up to the ceiling. Whoa! That's nice! A Down. Way to go! That's incredible! You have way better movement and motion in that area. Okay, so there's your treatment. Thank you. You are welcome. Uh, I feel... I feel good. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Um, Number one, what was that like for you overall? Um, quite honestly, I never really thought about what, how all of my surgeries really affected my physical body. I was more concerned with my internal body, right? Yeah. And um, I, it really uh, kind of raised my body awareness on how, um, cause they had to go back and do extra surgery on my left side. Mm -hmm. So when I realized that it's, it does feel a lot weaker on that in day to day life when I, now that I'm sitting and reflecting on it. Yeah. Um, but it feels good to, um, kind of be validated that it's not me that's weak. Yeah. It's my body that's been through a lot. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. It was a lot of fun getting to know you and then I getting guess. to treat you. So um, you could look at for you could look for Heather at University of Tennessee Knoxville in the what department again? <laughs> Family and Consumer Sciences. Right, exactly. Uh, thank you for tuning in for Treatment Tuesday. Hit the like button. Uh, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next Treatment Tuesday.